Hello today, and today we're going to have a game of Terra Questa on the Sinclair ZX Spectrum. Now, I played this back in the day on the Commodore 64. It's quite a difficult game, but it wasn't bad. It was a good game, actually. Um, didn't know what else this came out on. Um, it came out on a Nintendo. Um, and it came out in Spectrum. No Amstrad TPC version, I don't think. Um, right, so this is based on an arcade game which I never played. I only played the um, Commodore 64 version back in the day. That was it. Right. So it's a 48k game only, as far as I am aware. Right, so let's put it on Kempston. Now, so this is where it differs from the Commodore 64 version. The Commodore 64 version used virtually the old screen. Now, I wonder why they're doing it like this, more of a portrait style. Could it be like the arcade version? As I said, I've never played the arcade version. But the sprites are definitely definitely the right size for the window oh oh ah oh, for fuck's sake usually when you place that little jingle at the beginning there's usually a tune after that da, 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 da. That was on the Commodore 64 version and the Nintendo version, but being a 48k game, perhaps it was down to limitations. Oh, for fuck's sake. And you've got to do it in the arcade style. Ugh. So we're getting some music here. Alright, fuck off. We've, don't go over the top. At least we can skip out of it. Right, okay. Let's have another go. Oh, you've got to keep pushing the key. Why life's represented by ducks? In the hub, right at the bottom, your lives are represented by ducks. What's that all about? Oh. oh fucking what happened there? I didn't even see what I got hit. Now there is power ups you can get on this. You can make your ship bigger and more firepower. Oh cool, that was close. Now graphically it looks alright. Monochrome, you would expect. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake! Now, it is a little bit difficult. It's like the Commodore 64 version. It was difficult. I did prefer the NES version, which I've also reviewed. That's it. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake! Didn't even get on the ice score table that time. Let's have another go. Yeah, graphically it looks alright. Um, oh, fucking hell! Ugh. I think it's got his, the same difficulty level as the Commodore 64 version. Oh, fucking hell! Uh, maybe because it was based on the arcade version, they tried to replicate it. 
as I said I've not played the arcade version yet I may give that a review to see what that plays like I oh, see the fucking hell I can't react quick enough to the one I don't know let's have another go It's just, even on the Commodore 64 version, I couldn't even get the power up. Or well, the power ups that um, upgrade your shit. Oh! How fucking stale was I supposed to avoid that? Come on! Fuck off. Yeah. Oh, fucking hell, they move. Ah. Let's have one more go. Have one more go. Yeah, I did. I did prefer. Oh, fuck, sir, I didn't even see that. I did prefer the NES version. That one played. Even though I think that one played better than the Commodore 64 version. It was just so nice to play that version. But obviously the Commodore 64 had the best sounds. How was I supposed to avoid that? I mean the graphics were pretty good on the Commodore 64. But playability... I would say this is on par with the Commodore 64 version. Even though this has got a smaller screen. But then again it's got smaller sprites to... Um, fit the screen quite well. Oh, come on, I got it here before. Oh. Well, this is the furthest I've ever been. Can I get my first power up? Where is the power ups? Well, where's the power ups? Oh! There, there, there. Am I going to get there? Can't get there. Can't get there. Here we go. I'm going to get there. I'm going to get it. Going to get it. Yes. So I've got my first power up. That's something else I've achieved on this. I didn't on the Commodore 64. I've already got a power up in the game. Now there's another power I can get to make my ship even bigger. Oh! And here it is, number two. Ah, oh, fucking been destroyed. Right. It plays a little jingle. Right. Yeah. Terra Questa on the. Spectrum, it's not a bad conversion, it's not bad, it's difficult, obviously you probably like the arcade version. Um, graphically it looks alright, it's not a bad game to play to be honest with you, it's not bad, it's not bad. Anyway, I'm going to end this now, thank you so much for watching, until next time, and goodbye. <laughs>